Shalom and welcome to our new series of Finding Hope in the Midst of Trials. We've been looking at a passage in the Bible taken from 1 Peter chapter 1 verses 1 to 9 and we're looking at encouraging truths that Peter brings out to his church to those believers who were being persecuted. We're going to be looking and applying those truths for us as we read through scripture. We find in 1 Peter chapter 1 verses 1 to 2 as it reads Peter, an apostle of Jesus Christ, to the pilgrims of the dispersion in Pontus, Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia, and Bithynia, elect according to the foreknowledge of God the Father, in sanctification of the Spirit, for obedience and sprinkling of the blood of Jesus Christ, grace to you and peace be multiplied. We will notice that in this first verse, Peter calls out to the pilgrims. In some versions, he talks about, he calls out to the temporary residents or strangers or refugees of the world or sojourners. So as Peter calls us out, we understand that we are only passing through this world and this world is not our home. We are as strangers in this world. Peter reminds us that when we are going through difficult times, he gives us a view that we are only passing by. We are only journeying uh, through this time into something that is more glorious. So Peter reminds us that this life as we know it will not last forever. And our citizenship here on earth is temporary. Our citizenship is permanent in heaven. So when we face those difficult times in our lives, we have a long view of life and not a temporary and momentary view. And even in this passing through, you would have noticed that Peter calls us the elect. He, in God, in his abundant grace and mercy, has also chosen us and he has destined us and he calls us the elect. So we are the chosen sojourners. So through the hardships we may be going through, be it global, be it personal, be it within your family, let this truth be established in you that God does not want any of these hardships that you undergo as an exile or as an alien in this world to pull you down. Because it is not a surprise to God. It is the, the plan and God is sovereign over all that is happening. So remember that our life here is rooted in God. We are engulfed in the electing love of God the Father, the Son and the Spirit. So dwell on this truth. Let it sink inside of you. That no matter what our hardships may be, we are sojourners, yet we are chosen and destined for a purpose. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we praise you that you have chosen each one of us as your elect. We thank you that we are only passing by through this world. And even when we face hardships, either globally or individually, Father, may we know that you have a bigger picture in mind. May we know that we are destined for greater things, even in this passing by. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for this privilege. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.